Hello, my absolutely beautiful astrology soulmates. Hopefully you are doing wonderfully, wonderfully well out there. And I am, despite how crazy my voice sounds, I am feeling so much better. So thank you so much, all of you, for the love and the support, the Reiki, the good vibes that you were sending towards my direction while I was recovering from COVID. I absolutely appreciate every single one of you. And I received all of that love and all of that energy. So thank you so very much. It, it was terrifyingly hard to not get to talk for several days. You guys know that was killing my mercury. So I'm very excited to be back to do a quick little video for us, get us ready for this next new moon that's coming up in the energy of Aquarius. And as you can see on screen, we're going to be working at 12 degrees of Aquarian energy. So first things first, before we jump into this video, a couple things. One, hopefully you have had a chance to participate in our kick starter the kickstarter is going we are still crowdfunding um, all of the funds we need for our free youtube academy where you can come right here onto this channel onto the home page and do astrology classes academy style we've worked from the history of astrology all the way through the basic skills and we're not just giving you the interpretation we're teaching you the skills on how to interact with each of these pieces of astrology and we'll continue to do do that going forward it's an absolutely phenomenal resource that we all built and put on together so hopefully we'll get the opportunity to fully fund the kickstarter again because we can only keep the academy going if it fully funds that's the way kickstarter works so if you can give to the kickstarter please kick click into the description box down below and donate and definitely share 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 ask the people in your camp if they love astrology or find it useful to donate into that as well now the other thing i wanted to share with you out of the gate here is to keep in mind that even as we're looking through these particular forecasts in 2022 we have a high retrograde year so nothing is just moving forward quickly remember everything is a couple steps forward and some adjustment and then we step back and so this new moon i think is absolutely no exception to that um as well so let's get in here and see what we're looking at now first of all we've got a new moon happening so the actual astrology that is happening is that the sun and the moon are together when the luminaries are together the moon and the sun create a darkness in the sky right it is dark up there but there's magic this is why i say we plant our seeds of intention to begin something new to give something a fresh start there's a magical new quality quality to a new moon but we do it in the soil of magic because you might not actually be able to see it right you're planting very much so based on instinct and intuition is what you're working with on this time so on february 1st make sure that you have grabbed your chart already and you're looking for where 12 degrees of aquarius is landing inside of your personal chart which house is happening there even if you have no planets inside of the house that aquarius rules on that particular chart this is where the influence and the stamp and your planting needs to be done to be successful at this particular moon okay now this particular moon is in the energy of aquarius our awakener the sign of the astrologer friendship socialness comes from this aquarian energy humanitarian things things that all have to do with groupings or being a part of groups these are going to be the focus of what we'll work on at this particular new moon so even as i'm talking and i'm speaking to you now and you're thinking about you know the groupings and and the friends and the social areas of your life where do you feel like you need a fresh start or you'd like to have something that's more in alignment with where you are or you want maybe to be a part of groupings who are supportive to show you how to do other things how to nurture other skills you know are there in your society in your community are there ideas of of gathering where you feel like you'd like to be a part of that and raise your voice in unison with some of your fellows whatever this is is for you you're going to be planting your seeds of intention in a very aquarian way we're looking to innovate we're looking to break out of our normal routines with this particular energy if you've got challenges or problems or things coming to your table 
um, Aquarian energy thinks outside of the box, right? Creative third option. It's not just I do this or I do this. What's the creative third option that's available? Maybe you need to be a part of groupings of people so that you can kind of create a little think tank and you guys can talk about some different ideas that may be available to maybe even old emotional challenges that have risen to the surface for you. We've come out of a high retrograde time as Venus was retrograde. And even right now at this moon, we've got Mercury who's retrograde as well. So there's certainly some enlightenment of things from the past, especially emotionally, that may be on the table energetically to deal with. And instead of being entirely emotional about them, if you can share your problem or your burden or your exciting idea or or where you'd like to innovate and take a risk with someone else, they can help you look at it in a way that's not so emotionally attached to it, but it has some detachment and that leaves room for the clarity of innovation of the spirit around whatever it is that you're working with. Now, this particular moon is also nicely aligned here with this Saturn energy. So while I think that we've got this opportunity at this new moon to plant our seeds of intention, begin that newness, allow that innovation to come to the surface, it's still going to be done in a very Saturnian way. Saturn means you are going to work for it. Right, you're going to have to put your back into it, whatever this fresh start is it's not going to just roll in because you want it it's not going to just roll in because you wrote it on a piece of paper and burned a candle by it that's not it right what's the intention of the magic and of the action that you're willing to put behind it are you do you have a fierce determination to master this area to become expert in this area to rise and come to the next level in this area if you do Saturn will absolutely get on board and have your back to help you get it done because Mars is the energy of desire. I want it. I want to have it right. But Saturn's the energy that makes the desire come true. So there is this element of just because you want it doesn't mean you can have it. But if you want it and you're willing to put your back into it, Saturn is going to make sure you get the best and the most grounded information, the best and the most grounded people to help you move forward. But you've got to have that steady determination to move that thing forward now the other side of that is that you know saturn is also one of the ruling planets of aquarius so we see that this will have a heavy influence into this particular lunation but also the other ruling planet is Uranus, who's over in the energy of Taurus, squaring all of this Aquarian energy. So let's talk about this Uranus and Taurus first. First of all, as another ruling planet of this particular lunation, we need to consider what it's doing. And Uranus is slightly uncomfortable in the energy of Taurus. It is now out of retrograde, which is a real delight. <laughs> so what we're looking at, what we're working on emotionally, we've kind of got forward motion. We're pointing at it not having to look back so much but pointing forward but uranus in taurus is rumbling things that have to do with our finances have to do with our grounding our foundations areas where we have been fixed or we've had the same kind of ideas for a very long time um, with uranus and taurus also fixed signs don't like to be jostled right they don't they don't want you to try to move them if you push too hard into a fixed sign you get the repercussions of that and it doesn't always feel good and i think that's very much so a little bit of the semblance of uranus and taurus here is sometimes it feels like you're having to make these changes or you're having to be determined to make these changes because you have to not because you're comfortable not because you woke up and you said i just really feel this calling maybe you did right but this particular lunation is offering you an opportunity to distance your emotions from some of the changes that you need to make and get to work making them right both aquarius and taurus are fixed energies so the fact that they are squaring against one another it's this kind of wrestling energy that we've continued to experience with saturn and uranus squaring against one another which is there is structure and form that has been in place there are ideas there are ways of doing things that have been in place for a very long time and now i feel like I want to rebel against that a little bit right or maybe that rebellion has even been brought to my table now the worst thing that any of us can do despite the fact that we do it anyways is to push and try to try to resist 
the changes that are happening, whether they be in society, whether they be within each of us emotionally, whatever it is, when we try to resist them and push back against them, that's when the square actually becomes really very exhausting and we're not able to make as much progress with it because it's a tremendous amount of energy pulling us from expectations, right? So bringing changes that maybe you didn't want, bringing changes that you didn't expect, but yet you are expected to adapt to them. Yes, this is definitely some of the energy that I think um, we will see. But what, what I think is the best about it is that under the Saturn and Uranus square, when we have had to deal with these tensions, we see that we've got actions, attitudes, behaviors, beliefs that are, they're blocking us from our own progress, our own success, because the model of what we were working with that's so grounded down and fixed is outdated, right? So we are really up for a little innovation, which is what we're asking for at this particular moon. But I don't think that this is the most comfortable moon that we're going to have all year long, but it is certainly one that if you work with the energies instead of against them, you are guaranteeing yourself through the act of flexibility, a lot more access to ease of garnering your freedom. And really, I think the way that we'll do that is by offering ourselves an opportunity to take new approaches, have new mind frames, new beliefs, and truly just new actions around the things that we're determined to have in our life and our space. That node having shifted down now into the energy of Taurus and that south node in Scorpio also I think speaks to that signature supporting that Uranian energy because we're leaving the space of Gemini Sagittarius axes where we thought about things, we talked about things a lot. And now as we move to earth and water it's like do it like you need to do it you need to put that in action stop thinking and talking about it do it so that is very much so the progressive innovative energy that i think that this new moon offers to all of us and if that sounds heavy to some of you i don't want it to sound heavy but i want it to sound honest so that when you grab your chart and you're looking at this 12 degrees you think yeah stormy you're right i've been fighting a little bit against learning this thing about technology i've been fighting a little bit against learning about building my business about passive income about this that or the third where have you felt like you still the world has changed are you current are you up to date are your emotions up to date or are you still operating in systems that are outdated and blocking you from your blessings this new moon gives you the opportunity to be willing to be willing to see things from a different perspective and therefore take different actions and that is absolutely um, a mantra that i offer to you if you are feeling stuck right now universe I ask you to help me to be willing to be willing to see the truth, to be willing to be willing to change, right? That is a perfectly acceptable little mantra to take out there and ask the universe for some guidance with. So I hope that this is a beautiful new moon for you. I would love, love, love to hear what is shifting, what is changing for you. What are you planning on planting in your soil of magic to give fresh start to in your particular life? Let me know in the comment section down below, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back around. I got to go hydrate my throat, but I'll be back around with the full moon video for February. The February horoscopes are coming along as well. We're going to talk about the nodes. There's so much. I had a couple weeks off. I had to take some downtime, you guys, but I'm coming back. We've got plenty to talk about and to get ready as we continue to move forward to the spring as well. All right, my beautiful friends, I love you and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.